Well, there's plenty of weather going on in many parts of the world at the moment. And first and foremost, I want to look at the big storm that struck the west coast of North America in the last 24 hours. Um, 943 millibars was the central pressure of the uh, Pacific Northwest storm, British Columbia, Washington, um, extending all the way into California. This was the deepest uh, central pressure of any storm for this region in the Pacific in recorded history. So very interesting indeed. Uh, 40 uh, plus foot waves. We've seen record rainfall. We've seen um, we've seen 141 mile per hour was the strongest wind gust I've seen. There may have been an even stronger one than that, but certainly heavy rain, uh, damaging winds, big seas, and of course a record breaking um, low pressure uh, from this uh, system here. So quite interesting indeed, and it's also quite interesting when you look at the jet stream chart for the entire globe at the moment um of course this is uh, looking at um the the world if you kind of flatten it out rather than looking down on top this is a uh, kind of um they've got you, you know europe asia africa down at the the, the, the left hand side here of course uh, indian ocean pacific north america south america and indeed the north atlantic uh, what is interesting, uh, the reason why I'm looking at this here is because we've got um, uh, the dynamics in place that created this uh, super deep area of low pressure. Very tight pressure gradient, temperature gradient, should I say, between Siberia and points further south. That increased the jet stream to very, very um, extreme levels, uh, you know, 150 to 200 miles per hour. And uh, it's what you call a jet extension which um, means that it's a very flat, extended jet exiting Asia, crossing the North Pacific, and then with a dip just off the west coast of North America, that allowed the pressure to fall to the depths it did. And what is also interesting is the fact that sometimes when you get these very powerful west-east jets over one ocean, it can sometimes mirror in another ocean, so i.e. the North Atlantic, and the modeling is suggesting around about Halloween of um, a very deep area of low pressure crossing, um, well, the, the run earlier this afternoon actually uh, had the, the center of low pressure crossing through the channel, so uh, very powerful winds, south coast of England and south uh, north coast of France, and Somebody had suggested that the GFS isn't, um, you know, is, is showing this um, solution, but other models aren't backing it up. But um, what what sometimes can happen is a mirror. Um, so Pacific, uh, Pacific produces a, a very powerful uh, cyclone. Sometimes the Atlantic can follow suit if the dynamics are right. And it's interesting how the GFS is at least hinting at something. So very strong jet stream across the North Pacific, very strong jet stream across the North Atlantic, uh, driven of course by uh, big temperature uh, differences between Greenland and the Azores. And um, of course we're getting the bombardment of uh, systems coming in off the Atlantic into the Western portion of Europe here uh, these days. So uh, it is a pretty interesting pattern and uh, when you also look at it, you can see here, this is uh, the two meter temperature anomalies here. The, the contrast here between cold across Siberia, warmer across uh, the subtropics of the Western Pacific, that is what's driving. And you notice here, particularly south of the Aleutians here, you've got this um, warm water here. And by the way, actually, now that I look at this, um, thought just came to my head right as I'm doing the video, but that very warm waters, if, uh, if you remember back over the North Pacific here, below uh, very, very cold waters, um, uh, more towards the Aleutians and, and uh, Alaska and the, the British Columbia coast. That may have had a big influence on driving this super powerful uh, Pacific jet stream and, of course, the rapid deepening 
of the low pressure off the west coast of North America here. Of course, remember how warm the Atlantic is at the moment. And uh, when, of course, you've got the, the collision between these air masses, you get these um, these deep areas of low pressure developing here. But um, what is quite interesting is we've got a very, very, um, a very, very uh, interesting solution here, uh, even in the coming days. Uh, the reason why I say that is because there's the system that I tweeted about earlier, a uh, deep area of low pressure possible um, possibly reflecting what we see in the North Pacific um, around Halloween of course uh, a week out um, things can change this is a truck by the way getting blown over on a bridge near San Francisco but this is also an interesting one here warm Atlantic here and of course weather systems extending from the subtropics into the UK a lot of moisture a lot of heavy rainfall and with a near stationary frontal boundary, I've even made the suggestion shades of late autumn 2009, remember the record rains in Cumbria. Uh, what we could see is over the next five days, uh, with one wave of rain after the next lifting from the southwest and off a warmer than normal Atlantic Ocean, we could see upwards of 250 millimeters of rainfall uh, across parts of North Wales, Cumbria, and possibly southwestern Scotland here. So we need to keep an eye on that um, over the coming days here because what we're, we've got is we've got uh, systems riding um, along the frontal boundary and near enough stalling over uh, the same area. So you can see here exactly what I'm talking about. Deep area of low pressure down to 958 millibars over the North Atlantic here. We've got, of course, high pressure at 1027 millibars over the Balkans what you've got is you've got a frontal system between the two allowing that warm moisture to travel up and into the British Isles here hence why we're so mild as well as wet but of course mild uh, temperatures contain allow the atmosphere to contain more moisture and of course if you kind of stall or slow move that boundary you get a lot of rainfall over a prolonged period of time and that is the big concern uh, over the next several days here um, so we we'll just need to keep our eyes on this but you notice here that the rain continues we get more pulses of rain moving up from the southwest then the latest GFS if you notice here this is moving into Halloween um, on Sunday and you can see here that system is weaker and it's further south here next couple of days it may ha be stronger again it may be further north uh, so we'll keep an eye on that here as we go forward here but certainly very interesting times to come in terms of the weather here interesting comment in the previous video by a person saying that there was talking trash with regards to snowfall in norway apparently there's no snow in norway i can only, listen i don't live in norway but uh, i can only imagine that if you've got half uh, or nearly half, I would reckon that's about half of the Scandinavian landmass uh, covered in snow. But imagine that Norway would probably be involved in that. And if you notice here in a zoom picture, the day after the comment was made in the previous video, you can quite clearly see, to the best of my knowledge, I think this area right here would be classified as Norway. And uh, as you can see here, there is white representing snow cover across North America so just wanted to kind of slightly get that in there of course that uh, that was quite an interesting remark here uh, and I, I thought I would kind of back that up uh, so to speak here looking at the um, the 500 millibar height anomalies off the GFS you can see here what's going on over the next several days here high pressure over the near continent deep area of low pressure over the North Atlantic Continue to see that uh, southwesterly airflow, but as we go forward, eventually that upper level trough bodily moves in over the UK. What is interesting, however, is that as we go forward and into the month of November, notice here the positives out over the Atlantic here. So that indicates that we're going to start to pick up more of a kind of north to northwesterly flow into the UK. So in essence, what that means is we're going to start to cool the temperatures down get back closer to average maybe even a little bit below average 
and also there is indications, there is sniffs at something colder as we go into the month of November here. So plenty going on. Uh, please do continue to watch the channel and uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and let's continue to watch the pattern as we start to push towards the winter season. Hope you have a great evening. Bye for now.